Let's do a little review about our place value models or our place value blocks, starting with this first cube here. This is our unit cube. It just has a value of 1. 1 cube, 1. Here I have our stack of 10 cubes. This is sometimes called a long or a rod. It has a value of 10. And then when I have 10 groups of these rods, 10 groups of 10, I have what's sometimes called a flat, and it has a value of 100. What happens if I have more than one of something? Here I have two of these unit cubes, one cube here and one cube here. The total value of those together is two. What about this next group? I have two of my tens here. Two tens is 20. That's not the same as two flats like I have over here because these are each worth 100. That's not the same as 2 tenths. Let's look at another example. Here I have one of my flats, or 100, and I have one of my longs, or 10, and then I have 1, 2, 3 singles. So if I wanted to know the total value of all of these cubes, what would that be? Well, it's 100, 110, and then 11, 12, 13. So this is 113. In this last example, I just have one of our hundreds, and then I have one, two of our cubes. So that's 102.